Hey guys, Great Sarah here, back with some more Pixelmon Survival of the Evolved. Now, if you haven't missed the last episode, it was another live stream. We did two live streams, uh, one on Friday and one on Saturday. And for today's episode, we are going to be building the cloning machine. That is right. It has finally happened. We're going to build ourselves a cloning machine, which we really need to do. So let's go ahead and um, grab out the aluminum plates we're going to require, because... Uh, I should have done this on stream or off camera, but I forgot to, so yeah. So we're going to be hammering out these aluminum plates, getting that all done. We've got the obsidian though, so that's the good thing. So how to make these things is you have to make two of the fossil machines. You have to make two fossil machine things, and then after that, you make them into the chambers for the cloning machine. So in other words, we need to make ourselves up um, 12... So there's uh, 12 and 10, so 22. So we need 22 there. So 22 there. And then there's 25. 27. And we have only 20. So we're going to have to grab, smelt up some more aluminum. I know we have it. It should be around. Yep, there's 20. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's go ahead and start smelting that up while we start smashing out these. Now, I do believe our diamond hammer probably will break on us during this which will kind of suck but not too bad we'll see how many we can bust out i think we might be able to get them all maybe especially since it's going pretty fast so i hope you guys are having a great day because i'm having a great day now this probably will be a bit of a short video because of the fact that i'm quite late on my upload schedule today like really 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 late i mean right now it's 7 30 at night and normally I would have had this done by now, but I had lots of work to do today, and I just really couldn't get around to doing it, so, yeah. So I'm sorry if I am late on my upload schedule. I'm going to hopefully get everything uploaded before my time limit is up. I have to make sure I get everything uploaded before midnight, or else I have to do my the, the failed part of my challenge. So hopefully, hopefully I won't, I won't have to do that. I really don't want to. I don't really want to. I really don't want to do Sky Wars. I really don't. Sky Wars, the trolliest of trolley games of all time. Alright, this is actually pound, uh, getting these things pounded out really fast. I'm not. I'm actually surprised by how well the Diamond Hammer works with this. Because the Iron One takes forever. It took way too long. Way too long for me to, to work around that. And I just, I just don't want, didn't want to mess with it. Now, I do believe I got enough obsidian to be able to just do the cloning machine. I don't think I got enough to be able to make ourselves an enchantment table, which sucks. Also, I did use up all the iron we had to be able to make some more Pokeballs, because we actually have some Pokeballs on us. So, for next episode, when we do find ourselves a bit of new Pokemon, I will be able to catch them. Because that was the thing, is we didn't have any Pokeballs to catch anything. And it was kind of sad during the stream, because, well... We had like three legendary spawn. We had, well, technically it was two. But during the first stream, because the Friday stream one spawned literally, I think, right behind this house. And then Alatio spawned in the other stream, which was like, okay, that's that's great. Uh, then a th again, the same thing spawned behind our house, but I still couldn't find it, so it was really frustrating. And, and I just, I just, I just, I don't understand. I never understood what happens. It's like they vanish. They're there, and then they're gone. And I have no idea what it is. I don't, still don't know what that Pokemon is. But hopefully it will respawn one day, and we will catch it. I probably should look up what it is, but I'll probably do that off camera. I'm not going to do that on camera. Because for today, it is all about building the cloning machine. Now, the problem with the cloning machine is we need to catch a Mew. So in other words, we'll probably have to do one day, do a live stream in the jungle biome, just going around, just, just, uh, eliminating as many Pokemon as we possibly can, to see if we can get a Mew to spawn, and then we're going to have to try and catch it. So yeah. Okay, so there's our 27 of these. Now we need some buckets of water, so we're going to need... We actually need one more bucket that's actually... Oh, do I not have three iron? No, I don't. Oh, okay, that's fine. We'll just we'll work with what we got. We'll work with what we got. All right. I'm also out of food. My gosh. My gosh. I'm like having an issue. There we go. Munch, 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 munch it all up. There we go. Let's go in the water. 
Perfect. Mm, get all that delicious water. All right, so there we go. Now we can go back up and start making ourselves these fossil machines. So what we're going to need require is we're going to need... We have already know the recipe for these. We need six on the bottom, so we're going to need the bottoms. So let's go ahead and make those. So we're going to do this. Bam. There's one. And here's two. There we go. Perfect. So there's two of those. Now we need some redstone for the top. So where is the redstone? There's my redstone. There's my redstone. I knew I had quite a bit of it. Also, what the heck's in here? Oh, okay. 20 more of those. That's cool. Now, this is what we do for the tops. We go like so and bang like that. Perfect. Two fossil machine tops. And then we make the computers, which is like so. Bang, bang. Perfect. And now all we need to do is get ourselves some glass panes out of the chest over here. Oh, we need more. I should have more. Where are my glass panes? Aha, there they are. Perfect. There we go. Now we go like so. Wang, wang, bang, bang, bang. We put these three buckets of water in like so. And there we go. We got one fossil machine tank. Now all we need to do is grab up one more thing of water. And we've got both fossil machines done. So that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. I just sworn it was going to take longer to pound out all the, um... These stupid, what's it called, uh, aluminum plates. But that didn't take as long as at, at all. So once we do that, we need two emeralds, which I hope I have. I should. I should have two emeralds. Uh, and, and two gold's easy. We have a bunch of gold. That's, that's simple enough. And then we just need the obsidians. So what do we got for emeralds? Let's see. We got diamonds. I know we have emeralds. I know I've seen them. Eight emeralds. Easy, easy. Peasy, lemon, squeezy. There we go. All right, I think that is everything. So let's go ahead and put in the three buckets of water once again to get our last tank that we require. Oh, I'm actually missing. I'm one short, so I need to pound out one more um, aluminum. That's fine. That's fine. I, I could have sworn I had it right, but I guess my math was off by one. Just one. Just one, because we need six in total. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Here we go. Now we got to build ourselves the machines itself. So we do this to get the machine. Perfect. Now, for the first machine, it goes like so. You place the machine in. You put obsidian on the bottom. You put the two emeralds right here. And then you put the aluminum plates on top like so. Actually, that's not the aluminum plates. That's the aluminum ingots. There you go. One tank completed. Now, for the other one, obsidian on the bottom. Machine in the center two golds and the aluminum plates and there's the orange tank simple enough now for the rest is just that's is it's that there you go there's the cable for the the two tanks now to finish the process all you have to do is put the green tank here cloning cord in the center and the orange tank and voila the cloning machine is built now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it right I think right here. There we go. There is our cloning machine. So you insert the Mew here whenever you do have some the Mew. And then you'll either A, get a Ditto, or you will get Mewtwo. Now, I don't remember the full extent of how that works. It could be Mew... You, is it one per Mew? I'm going to have to look it up. I'm going to have to look it up. Because I don't remember if, if one Mew and it becomes a ditto, then that's it. You can't do it again. What the heck is this crafting? Whatever. It's not crafting anything. Uh, yeah, I don't remember how that works. Because apparently there's something you have to do. It's either one Mew equals one thing, or you have to do... Or one Mew can do multiple turns. I'll have to look it up. I'll have to look it up and remember because I can't remember at the moment. So let's go ahead and we'll finish off by uh, getting these Pokeballs all made. So we have quite a few. We have quite a few. We have 36 normal nest balls and 52 heal balls. So that's pretty good. And also, during the stream, we did evolve our Cranidos into Rampardos, which was pretty cool. He's looking he's looking lit now. He's having a good old time. Now, what we do need to do is start leveling up our shield on. So let's go ahead and fight this very small Mega Venusaur. And we'll switch to the good old Lugias. There you go. Good old Lugia. Coming out to play. I don't know why I clicked Hydro Pump. That was completely an accident. 
we well, were supposed to use Oral Blast, and there we go. And Shield On will gain a lot of levels out of this. There we go. Da -da -da -da. Ooh, one rare candy. I will take everything. Perfect, beautiful, in all kinds of ways. Now, I will show off the house if you did not catch the stream. So, it's looking, it's a two story house. We could probably make it a three story house if we wanted to. I'm not going to do that at the moment because I really don't need to. So, I'm going to go ahead and give you all a quick walk around of the house itself. Also, while grabbing up all these apricorns because I do need more apricorns. So, let's go ahead and. Perfect. So this is the, this is the one side, the the south side. So it's pretty much a bigger version of our house we originally had. This is the back side. Not too much going on back here. Uh, here's the north side. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. And then the front of the house is my favorite, the my favorite part because it just looks amazing. Now with the sun there, it kind of blocks it, but it does look cool because the way I did the wood and all that jazz. Normally, I'm not this good at building in Minecraft, but sometimes I amaze myself. Sometimes I do. Now, this is the top level. It's pretty much the same as the bottom level, except this little glass thing instead of a door. So it looks really cool, quite cool up here. We'll probably put more storage, stuff like that, easy stuff that we don't really use that much. We might even move some of the fossil things up here, maybe, depends, or we'll make separate rooms and stuff like that but there we go pokeballs have been crafted now we're gonna go ahead and put everything away that we don't need anymore if I can put stuff in here can I put things away nope I cannot uh, okay pick up the redstone I need that all right Ooh, we got space in here perfect so let's go ahead and dump in everything we don't need green apricorns random pokeball lids buttons torches add torches I'll keep Blue apricorns, black apricorns. Okay, these are all uncooked, so I'll have to throw them in here. Perfect. There we go. So there we go. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, please make sure to hit the like button as hard as you possibly can. We're not going to go for a like goal. If you feel like hitting the like button, go ahead and do so. Also, be certain to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And yeah, take care, and I will see you tomorrow with some more videos. Later.